Hi. Hi. We're in Florida still. We are. We are. We've been full timing for how long? Seven months now. Seven months. Are you ready to get back on the road? Kinda. Yes. Are you nervous about getting back on the road? Yes. What are you nervous about? Well, gas prices have gone sky high. Gas and, prices are just going to be painful. Well, and I don't know. Um, sorry, I dropped the leash. Um, I don't know if we can get into all the RV parks because we're finding out those are overcrowded. So we will see how the adventure goes. We may be boondocking a lot more than we thought. We're going to boondock a lot. I can tell you that right now. Hmm. And we're headed for Utah in three weeks, but we're going to probably take three weeks to get there. Yes. So no big hurry. Going to meander along the Gulf of Mexico, meander up through Texas, and meander through Colorado. We did hear that you can park on the beach. Um, just we're able to camp on the beach in Texas. Some so that, areas in Texas. Yeah, yeah. so that might be interesting. And because we've been following... Um, well, there's Betty on the Cosmos that is on Instagram, and I've been kind of learning from their Instagram site and other RV shows that we've been watching. Um, but yeah, this is, we've been parked for a while now, and I actually, I'm one that gets settled, so. And I'm one that wants to get moving. And I could just. Well, I don't want to stay here through the summer. It's We've no. had some really hot days. No. Tomorrow it's going up to 90 again, and the humidity is just too You want much. one of these yes. type hats, Australian or Panama, and for sure. You might want a Life is Good hat, too. but You'll definitely want a hat. Yes. Oh. So we're going, to be, we're going to be doing some boondocking in Colorado. I'm dropping everything here. We're going to be um, boondocking in Utah, and uh, I think... We, we're going to be running along the southern edge of uh, Wyoming, so we'll be we'll be doing docking there too. I'm trying to show you Augie. He's just he's just sitting Augie's here, Augie. vegging. He just likes to be wherever we're at, and cries if Sean walks away from us. But other than that, yeah, it's he's a beautiful day. Totally content. Sorry, I'm terrible with the camera That's right, right now. Low 80s, and uh, humidity is not bad today. I'm trying to get us but, in uh, here. We are starting to get a taste of summer coming or spring with the humidity changes. So, um, yeah, I keep thinking we're coming out of summer, but we're coming out of winter. Yeah, we're it really out of confuses you when you're from the Midwest. Colorado is going to be great, and we'll be sharing a lot of our boondocking with you. I'm going to do some fly fishing. Not that I'm a great fly fisherman, but Colorado's got great fly fishing, so we'll definitely be doing that. And I'll add after this, um, when I put all these videos together, I'm going to add to at the end of it sean was cleaning our air conditioner and found out it definitely needs to be cleaned once in a while so yeah we definitely we definitely use this time to uh catch up on some maintenance and upgrades so i upgraded the air conditioner with a soft start so that we can run it off our honda generator and then i upgraded the generator to run dual fuel so it'll run off propane and uh, gasoline but I wanted the option to have propane with the amount of boondocking I'm planning. And um, I also added a, uh, I got it off Amazon. It's an emergency propane like check valve so that we can run the refrigerator with the gas on. And then if this unit senses a, a great decrease or grow, a, a great flow of propane, like in a car accident or something, it automatically shuts off the propane at the at the source so that was a, a great upgrade and I don't think uh, we have to worry about uh, food thawing out while we're running on on some long days no and we're not gonna have to pack it with ice like we've done in the past and eventually we can upgrade to the refrigerator that um, keep your daydream had put on and there's another one that's a marine grade refrigerator and that's a dual um, electric it's 12 volt yeah and, it runs on 12 and volt AC. and ac and that way we can once we upgrade our batteries we can do that and we'll want but, to do some solar but i might do that next winter we're i wanted to see how the we might just be happy with the generator and the mix of 
staying at campgrounds and, and boondocking. That's what we're really going to be doing. So. And one thing I noticed too here, um, I don't know if it was just because it was so dry or because we haven't had a lot of rain, but we we did have a lot of noceums that love to bite me. So I stocked up on the baobab baobab body butter from New Skin. I have a link on here. I don't promote it much, but it, it does it does help it really to does keep work. bugs off me anyway. They don't promote it on New Skin like that, but I like it because it's 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 not greasy and it's it just moisturizes your skin and tr and keeps the bugs away from me. So it works. So anyway, that other, was that's just a tip that I just remembered. The other thing we did during share. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. The other thing we did during the winter was um, I did a lot of work on the truck, caught up on maintenance type stuff, did an oil change, um, did the uh, rear end and front end fluids, replaced the serpentine belt, replaced the water pump. Uh, I upgraded my turbo and I picked up a couple miles to the gallon, which I'm really happy about and we're really going to be happy about it on this 2500 mile trip to Utah. So on your on your downtime, it's re, it's really good to just catch up on on the basics that makes to to help increase the odds that you're gonna have a reliable trip. So that's we we took good good advantage of the time while we were down. And next year, if we venture back this way, which we're hoping to, we'll explore more of Florida. <clears throat> but this year, we just I think after selling everything and traveling here, it just was nice to. Kind of dock for a while. <clears throat> well, the other thing too is there there is a lot of crowding, and and we did notice a lot of a lot more people. I think everyone in the whole United States is trying to move to Florida. Yeah, and I think <laughs> that's what it is. I think the important thing is to get um, get your reservations in a year early. So like if 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 we're really serious about going to different Florida parks, we ought to be making the reservations now for that for next year. Well, because there's a couple that we met here that already tried here in the Punta Gorda area and they're booked already for next year. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, but my, my arm is actually getting tired <laughs> holding up this phone. So we until- need a selfie stick. Yes. We, but we're sorry for not putting more videos on. We just got involved with our downtime and I think you're gonna see a lot more from us during the trip to Utah and Colorado and Texas. Okay. Okay. See you later. See you later. Have a good day.